In the very beginning, we said the kidney helps the body get rid of wastes, and it does that by purifying the blood. And some of those wastes were urea, for example, which is a byproduct of breaking down proteins. And there's also uric acid, which is a byproduct of breaking down DNA or RNA. And so now that we know a little more about the glomerulus, let's think about how these things get excreted. So let's talk about urea. And let's say that urea maybe has a 10 milligram per deciliter concentration in the plasma. And so a deciliter is a tenth of a liter. So that's the same as 100 milligrams per liter. And let's say that you have a GFR of 100 milliliters per minute, just to use nice round numbers. If urea has no problem here getting through the three layers of these capillaries, then how much urea is going to be filtered per minute? And this ends up actually being quite easy to calculate. And the reason is that the concentration of urea out here is actually going to be equal to the concentration of urea here. The reason why that is, is you have some amount of urea here, and that's being carried in some amount of fluid that's coming down through the afferent arterial. And then the amount of fluid that gets filtered here at the glomerulus is defined as the filtration fraction times the amount of fluid that was coming down through there. And we said that for a substance that easily gets through these capillaries, it's the same fraction that gets out. And so in that case, the amount of urea that gets through is the filtration fraction times the amount of urea coming in. And then we just notice that the concentration of urea out here is simply the amount of urea coming in divided by the amount of volume coming in. And the concentration of urea here is the amount of urea being filtered divided by the amount of fluid being filtered. And if we're dividing, these two things cancel. And so we see that the concentration here is the same as the concentration there. So that was a bunch of math that honestly may have been unnecessary. But the point is just to realize that for something that's freely filtered, that gets easily filtered, its concentration will be the same in Bowman space as its concentration in the afferent arterial. And therefore, the amount of that thing that's going to be filtered here at the glomerulus is just going to be equal to the concentration of that solute, in this case urea, times the glomerular filtration rate. Because the GFR tells you the amount of volume that's getting filtered. And since the concentration of this thing is going to be the same in Bowman space and in the afferent arterial, you just multiply the volume times the concentration to get the total amount. So in this case, it would be 100 milligrams per liter times 0.1 liters per minute, because 100 milliliters is 0.1 liters. And so that will give you 10 milligrams per minute. So this is how much urea is getting filtered every minute.